Tsai Guo Qiang is an artist who has shown his works in all of America's great institutions, like the Guggenheim, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the Kennedy Center. He lives in the States but draws on the culture of China, where he was born, to create works that have entered the annals of modern art history. So he uses calligraphy, brush and ink, and perhaps most spectacularly, given its scale and material, gunpowder. This was invented by the Chinese with the first recorded use dating to the 9th century AD during the Tang Dynasty, generally considered to be one of the early high points in China's civilization and what it was able to give the world. I mention gunpowder because Guy Fawkes Night is coming up, celebrated by millions of people in England where I grew up. On November 5th every year, my mum and dad bought us fireworks like sparklers and catherine wheels. Very simple and looking back, very sweet. The absolute joy this brought us as children obscured the origins of this festival to remember Guy Fawkes, an English Catholic and a key member of the gunpowder plot of 1605 with a goal to remove King James I and restore the Catholic monarchy. Deep inside the House of Lords, Guy Fawkes has found guarding 36 barrels of gunpowder, enough to destroy the historic building around him. But despite this very English brush with history, gunpowder has its home in China. After its first confirmed recording during the Tang Dynasty, gunpowder reappeared again some 50 years later in Taoist texts, showing that science, religion and philosophy were all central to Chinese life. Ironically, the discovery of gunpowder may have happened as Chinese scientists look for an elixir of life, which itself makes an appearance in folklores that gave us traditional holidays still celebrated today, like the Moon or Mid-Autumn Festival. So it's really fascinating how all these different pages in the Chinese story are interlinked in beautiful and important ways. The alchemists who mix the different chemicals created what we still call today Huo Yao, or literally fire medicine, not a medicine as such, but the name by which gunpowder is commonly known. Gunpowder is composed of three main ingredients, a fuel, in this case charcoal, an oxidizer such as nitre or saltpeter, and a stabilizer like sulfur. As for its uses, there are so many. Gunpowder is a blasting agent for road building or quarrying in mines and of course as a propeller for missiles, artillery and firearms. So you could say that some of its uses or misuses have reshaped history. But as in the case of its beginnings, the Chinese used it for fireworks, with the colour, force and movement we enjoy, all made possible by the chemicals at their root. In my next story, I will return to Tai Guoqiang, renowned for his gunpowder drawings shown in some of the world's best-known museums, and his firework installations that have ignited the human imagination. Keep watching for that and more on The China Current. I'm James Chow, you're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.